morning, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the special treat, the Dunkin' Donuts donuts this morning. Um, we have a couple presentations today. Kristen from MFS is going to share a few updates. Uh, Dennis is going to give us a financial update. Susie is going to talk about all the wonderful holiday events we have planned. Iris is going to come up and talk about our big sales initiatives for the fourth quarter and some contests that you all can participate in. And Teresa is going to give some updates on dining. So if Kristen from MFS would like to come up and Targan. And Rick. Good morning, everyone. How are you? So um, I know you see me walking around, me and Kristen especially, right? Um, looking colorful or loud, so my pants. Um, so I'm Target Wade Jones with Military Family Support Trust. Our office is right there. You know, so many of you have come by, stopped and seen us. A lot of times we've had events around, so we've seen you a great with your presence. So thank you very much. Um, I'm here mainly to just tell you about our two new employees that have come on board so that you know who they are, so you see them around, you greet them, and continue to welcome them in. I have Kristen and Rick Brown, or she's Kristen Small and Rick Brown, and they're going to tell you a little bit about themselves and we'll tell you what we have coming up. So, Rick, take it away. Well, good morning. And as uh, Target just said, I am Rick Brown. I'm the new business development manager for Military Family Support. But uh, just kind of more importantly, this is a special week, especially November 10th. How many of you know what November 10th is? Anyone know? What is November 10th? Why is that special? It's the Marine Corps birthday. I happen to be a Marine. Yay! Yay! So, uh, I, so I just thought I'd bring that up. Any other Marines here? There you go. We're always Marines. Huh? We're always Marines. Well, in fact, we will all die as Marines, correct? Once a Marine, always a Marine. Anyhow, that wasn't my fault. Uh, anyhow, I just wanted to let you know that I'm here to answer any questions about military family support, our giving, our projects. If you have questions about, uh, let's say, gift abilities or different projects that you would be interested in in giving, or you have a particular heart or special uh, desire to give to something, please give me a call. Uh, you can see any of us in the office at any time. Happy to answer any of the questions that you have regarding our program and our projects. We're very, very grateful for your support. We're grateful that you're here, and uh, we're grateful that you've been supportive over the years. So thank you very much. I hope to get to meet many of you, especially on Friday. Especially on Friday. Again, it's the Marine Corps birthday. We'll be here. We've got a special event planned for Friday, so I hope to see you all there. Thank you, Rick. Excellent. Well, I'm Kristen Small. I know I've seen many of you throughout the community, and I am so honored and grateful to be here. When I took this position, I stepped into some pretty big shoes, and those were Lori Germains, who retired a couple months ago. She's having a great time, I'm sure. But a little bit of um, history on me. I am a Army wife and mom. My husband retired last year. And I've got two boys that served. One is still currently serving. He's out at McDill. And my daughter, she is working in Tampa. So we're happy to be here in this area, all under the same state as a family. And I'm happy to be here meeting so many wonderful people at Freedom Plaza, working with a wonderful group, military family support. It's near and dear to my heart. And I look forward to being here and serving you all whatever way I can. And I'll turn it over to Target to tell you a little bit more about what we have coming up. So on Friday, of course, military family support, we're all about, I'm a Navy vet myself, my husband's also a Navy, he's retired. Um, so Friday, we are having our event. Each year, we do an annual thank you to Freedom Plaza for all that you've done to support us and continue to support us, as Rick mentioned. So Friday, from 3.30 to 5 p.m., down in the atrium, we're gonna cut a rug, mix and mingle. We'll have drinks, we'll have um, you know, heavy hors d'oeuvres, as they put it. Um, and we'll be having a raffle for military-themed baskets as well. So we encourage you, for a buck, get your raffle uh, ticket. You can purchase them either at the office on uh, beforehand, or you can come that day at the event, and you can purchase. 
Um, we're going to be telling you about all the great things we've been doing in our programs that we have, um, that you know we support. We'll have representatives from our programs as well. So we're really excited to be able to just give back, thank all of you, and have you come out and join us for our Mix and Winkle. Again, one time a year, so uh, of course, near Veterans Day, right? And Marine Corps birthday. It's not the hey, but hey. So, um, <laughs> but we look forward to seeing you all on Friday. So please come out and celebrate with us. We're celebrating you. Thank you, MFS. We're so happy to have such a great partnership with them here at Freedom Plaza. I'm going to give a few updates before we get on with our other presenters. So the first thing I want to talk about is I was out of town at the end of last week and I get a text message that says, um, what's this article about Health Peak merging with some other company um, and what does that mean for Freedom Plaza? Well, I will say you all knew about it before I did. Um, and then I, I reached out to Mary Mackey, who's my boss, and she didn't know anything about it. But coincidentally, she was with um, our, our point of contact for, with Health Peak last week when, when all this came about. So as of right now, um, there is a planned merger between Health Peak and another large REIT out of Seattle. Um, physicians, something or other. Um, but it's not a done deal. It's in the very early stages. Uh, if, it, if it actually goes through, it will take some place sometime at the beginning of next year in the spring, is what I'm being told. Um, but Health Peaks, uh, there's, no, there's no impact to Freedom Plaza at this point. So, um, and I say that because, you know, I, I, don't, I get information sort of uh, right before you do, or maybe sometimes after you do. Um, so at this point, it would just become, Health Peak would become part of this other REIT and they would become our owners. They are happy with the CCRC portfolio performance. We are doing well with our post-COVID recovery. Um, so that's it. It would just be a change in ownership from Health Peak to the name of this new larger trust. But it's a very early stages and, and there's all kinds of things you have to go through before a merger can happen. You have to go through the government and you have to make sure you're not becoming a monopoly and all that good stuff. So all that is still be in the process, but I'm being reassured that this is uh, of no impact to Freedom Plaza. It's two really financially strong companies becoming one big financially strong company. So as I get more information on that, I will absolutely share it with all of you. Um, the next thing I want to say is uh, Sippy is unable to be here today, but I want to give a few maintenance updates. So I want to say thank you to the residents on 1C if anybody is here. We had a flood over the weekend uh, as a result of a pipe breaking. Um, lots of water. Um, we had service masters here helping us with the cleanup. We have lots of fans going uh, in the first floor and Sippy assures me that everything is drying well. Um, the plan is once everything is dry, we'll be replacing uh, baseboards and um, drywall and, and whatever we need to do and repainting. Um, also, we will be having the carpet professionally cleaned by Stanley. And we're actually going to have one more layer, um, just making sure everything is as it should be. There's a company called 360 Fire and Flood, and it's actually a company that Health Peak um, prefers, you know, they want to make sure that they come out and take a look at everything and, and make sure everything's um, in good working order. So they'll come out um, again just to make sure we're doing everything um, properly and making sure everything's taken care of as it should be. Um, also, we are in the process of installing bollard lights around the plaza building. So once that's completed, the electrician will move to GVT and install some bollard lighting down there as well. And tomorrow, uh, we will be starting the renovation on the atrium bathrooms. Um, so there'll be one down at a time. So there'll be a sign on it, and it'll take about a week for each bathroom. Um, but we'll only take one out of service at a time. And so uh, they should all be completed over the course of the next few weeks. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody um, who has participated in the floor meeting so far. So we have one today. We have uh, one on Thursday. And they go until about Christmas time, I think or a little bit before that. Um, Teresa and Chef and myself and Pamela um, have been talking a lot about um, the new dining program that we're entering into. 
and I know some residents aren't real happy about it. Um, I've been saying in the in the floor meetings, I get a lot of feedback, so does Teresa, and we talk about it all the time. We have this, I think we have a small group of residents that really thinks we're pretty evil, and then we have this small group of residents over here on this side that thinks that this is gonna be the best thing ever, and then we have this large group of residents in the middle of those two groups that say, we're just gonna wait and see how it goes. And then if there's something to complain about, we'll complain about it then, right? So, and we appreciate that. And we appreciate how big of a change it's gonna be. And I guess my my request of you is that, you know, you, you put a little trust in Teresa and myself and know that anything we do here um, we think it's a good thing for you. And it may, it may be hard to see it at first. Like, I think my parents did that to me a couple times. Um, and, and it worked out in the end. You know, I had to trust them and, and trust that they were doing what they thought was best for me. But in the meantime, I don't want anybody to sit around and be angry and, and develop all these horrible thoughts of what this program's intentions are. So if you're upset, um, you have questions, please reach out to Teresa and myself. We're happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with you and talk through all those questions. I also encourage you to attend floor meetings. There's one for every building and floor and wing, but if you want to attend more than one, please do that. Because um, you can hear what other residents are asking and the responses that, that we're giving. And I will say that um, we've incorporated a lot of feedback into the menus that you received last week. And there's nothing ever that is set in stone, but we have to start somewhere, right? So we're gonna start somewhere, and we're gonna see how it goes, and then we're gonna make changes that we need to make for the things that don't go so well. So um, I appreciate all the feedback, the patience, um, as, it, as it pertains to that new dining program. Also wanna say, uh, Thank you to the residents who I've shared uh, dinner with, who I've shared lunch with. It's been a wonderful experience so far. I have a couple this week, and I think they go up until the holidays as well. Um, and then I'll probably take a break in January, but then we'll start back up in February, uh, scheduling more of those, because it's been a really great experience for me so far. And then I did skip one last maintenance update. So you may see a different maintenance technician on your floor or assisting with your work orders. Um, Eric Silvano and Rigo have taken on some additional responsibility. So we've had to shift around sort of the work order diagram um, for those gentlemen, but good opportunity for them um, to take on more um, and, and be rewarded for that. So we appreciate their hard work and dedication and desire to better themselves with different certifications and things that they can help us with around the community. So with that, I will call up Dennis, who's gonna give us a financial update for the year to date numbers through October. Good morning, everyone. Happy November. Can you believe it's November already? So we're going to take a quick little look at our October numbers. These are hot off the press. So hot, in fact, that you'll look in the very lower right-hand corner, you'll see the word preliminary. Um, these, the October numbers themselves just came out yesterday in a preliminary fashion. So what I'm going to show you tonight, right now is going to change a little bit. But if anything, it's going to be probably slightly to the better. And um, but basically, this is you know gives you a snapshot. Everything through September is final. It's only October that's in a preliminary stage. Um, and by the end of the week, the finals will come out. It'll go to the finance committee and become uh, final. Um, I'll also start off with the good news in the lower right hand corner, and then we'll kind of back into it. Um, when you look at the whole year, you can see that our net operating income we're slightly over budget so the fact that you know we've had a couple rough months and so the fact that we're at this place where we're just we're, we're right at our budget for net operating income so that's good news we're hoping you know we can carry with a strong november december to keep that uh, going um to get to that number basically you can see the biggest area where we've had struggles as we've mentioned in the past is with our skilled nursing revenue it shows that we've missed for the year by 788,000. And as Angie explained at the um, 
the last meeting where we discussed the 24 budget, half of that is really more of a budgetary issue. We're probably only short about uh, $400,000 there for the year. Um, and then that which actually eats up most of the difference. You can see we, we missed in total for revenues by 335,000. But if you eliminate the budgetary uh, matter with life care discounts, we're pretty much at budget for revenues. Um, and then with any shortfall that's even showing here is being made up with our expenses. We're right at up close to budget for our wages and benefits. And then we're over about 340,000 for our non-wage cost uh, for a total of 394,000, um, you know, favorably over uh, under budget. So anyway, that is where we are sitting for the year. Once we get uh, final numbers, we'll I'll be back up here for another update. Thank you, Dennis. So one thing I'll piggyback on what Dennis is saying is, while we have saved uh, some money in our expense line, I don't want anybody to think that's on food. I know that that's where people go right away. So the biggest savings there is actually on our liability and property insurance line. So um, that's that's a number that's budgeted by um, Home Office and Health Peak, and it looks at historical. Um, liability claim information and, and we're doing pretty well um, in that area year to date so that's our biggest surplus for the year uh, when it comes to expenses and so with that I'm going to call up uh, Susie and she's going to talk about some big events we have coming up in the month of December for the holidays She's taking the long way. <laughs> hey, y'all. How's everybody? All right, you Google people, get your phones out. I got a little, you're gonna have to look up something unless you're smarter than I think you are. I'm kidding. Kidding. Hey, um, remember how every once in a while I'll ask y'all what, what special observance is today or whatever? Get out your phone because I'm going to ask that question. And we got a little prize for somebody that can answer that. There's a spe today's a special day. Special observance day. You know, like special do nothing day? Yes, sir. Election day. Nope. Yeah, it is. Yes, yes, it, yeah, yes, you're correct. <laughs> it is, but this one is a no-nonsense, fun, just have a good time day. So look it up. Oh, yes, ma'am, way in the back. Hug the bear day. Do what? Hug the bear day. Oh, I love that one, hug the bear day. I'm not going to do it, but no, that's not it. Over here. One more. Two more. Yes. International Merlot Day, that is correct. And we have a gift for you, a bottle of Merlot. <laughs> Congratulations. So next time I'm on tap, you've got to all bring your phones. Well, that was fun. Talk about fun. We've got some things coming up that I want to talk to you about. Um, first of all, the Fall Festival. Um, we haven't had many of you RSVP for that. Why not? That one's going to be a ball. We're going to have, I don't want to steal Marketing Center because it is actually their event and we're supporting it. Um, but there's going to be food trucks. No cost to you. It's complimentary. Is that right, Iris? Yes. Food trucks. Uh, it's really cool. Iris can probably explain it better than I have, and we haven't done it since I've been here, so I'm really excited about it. Um, this uh, truck that you has beer taps, yeah, and you can pour your own beer and wine and what else? All kinds of good stuff. So that's going to be kind of fun and different, so you can help yourself to that. There's games. There's a country uh, music artist uh, coming, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It is at GVT, and it's from 3.30 to 6 p.m. Um, on Wednesday, um, November 29th. 
So please go ahead and RSVP for that uh, if you haven't already on either touchdown or the uh, activities online. How many of you are going to sign up for that now? Uh. Everybody, thank you. It's a it's called fall it's fall y'all festival. It's fall y'all. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. Oh, how many of you are going on the cruise? What's the what's the count? Thirty-four. Okay, so the rest of you need to make up for that. You need to all sign up. We've got a couple other things. As you know, December is always packed with lots of of holiday opportunities for you, and I just want to talk about three of them specifically. First of all, the tree lighting. That annual tree lighting is December the fourth, three to four p.m. We are partnering with marketing on all three of these special events this year. And you know what that means, right? It does, but that's great. So that's a marketing opportunity for y'all to sell Freedom Plaza. But they have a little bit more money than I do. So more food, more drinks, more fun. So y'all make sure that you attend the annual tree lighting this year. It's always a beautiful ceremony. Um, that's on December the 4th, Monday at 3 to 4. And then the other one, something that we're really excited about, we're meeting every week, my marketing, the marketing team and the um, activities team, and we've even got uh, maintenance involved. We're doing a holiday sip and stroll social. That's going to be on Wednesday the 13th, 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. We've got some really, really special uh, things planned. I can't tell you what they are yet. But keep watching the Plaza Planner, our weekly calendar, because it's going to have lots of information. Again, marketing is going to uh, help us with that one, so we're elevating it way up. So don't miss it if you can be here. And then finally, um, the Tuesday, uh, December the 19th, we're doing a Jingle Bell Jubilee concert. It's going to be lots of fun. It's going to be very whimsical. Got a lot of fun things planned uh, for everybody, so we hope that you will participate. And then, of course, there's um, the I don't want to forget uh, the Hanukkah services are nightly. That's from the the seventh through fourteenth, I believe. And then there's the candlelight Christmas service uh, that the Vespers put on a beautiful service um, on Thursday, December the twenty first. Uh, in the evening. So those, and then of course there's New Year's Eve coming up. So you'll see some information about that. You've got to sign up for that too. So there's lots of good things coming up, and we're we're looking forward to it. Thank y'all. Have a great day. I'm going to call Iris up. She's going to talk about sales and a special contest we're going to offer. Hello, hello, good morning. That's a tough act to follow right there with Susie. And yes, you did still the thunder, where are you? Um, so just to give you an update on sales, we did uh, close the third quarter with 14 sales. So that was above our projected um, 12. So very happy about that. So traditionally what occurs is once you have a large month of sales, you have a little downturn. We're not worried about it. October, we had one closing. Um, we do have four additional sales in what we call the pipeline. So we have such a strong sales team. I have no doubt that we will meet what our budget is projecting. Um, so not concerned um, that you know, the holiday season people, they're a little bit slower to go ahead and move, but we are having a large dinner event on Thursday. We have 56 RSVPs. So um, we are going to capture, and I use that term loosely, anybody that we can, so um, to just continue to build Freedom Plaza. So something else that I have done this month, we have a new marketing company called NDM. Uh, met with NDM 
we came up with a 2024 strategic marketing plan and as that unfolds um, i'll share more with you about that we are targeting some different geographical areas not forgetting sun city center um, but also going into reaching some other zip codes that have grown with the demographics that fit what we require at freedom plaza um, <clears throat> November has been canceled. We will meet in December um, just to have a little holiday thank you for all that you do. We truly could not build Freedom Plaza without each and every one of you. It is your community to build. My, my view is that we are here to close the deals and to um, invite your new neighbors that you would like to have living at Freedom Plaza live here. So with that, I need your help for uh, the fourth quarter. We are going to have a resident referral contest, and I have been calling Angie Wink Martindale. So she's the new game person for anybody that can remember Wink Martindale. Um, we are going to offer a dinner at Seasons 52 as well as hired car service. I wanted to say that it is not a Freedom Plaza vehicle, it is someone that we will hire to take you a, a guest um, to Seasons 52, enjoy dinner and bring you back home. For the person, the resident that has the most referrals um, and they close in the fourth quarter. So if you bring them to us, I promise you that Kat, Carrie or Christina can certainly, and myself, um, can certainly get your friends to move into Freedom Plaza. So keep that in mind and bring us any uh, friends that you have. Thank you. All right, Teresa, do you want to come up and talk about Thanksgiving? Yeah. And anything uh, else you want to talk about? I don't know. I'm sure there will be questions. <laughs> um, I kind of feel like you moved me at the end when she's like, Teresa will be wrapping up with dining. Everybody's like, ugh. <laughs> Um, okay, so Thanksgiving. Uh, for all of you that have made reservations, thank you so much. It's been a lot. We have over 375 reservations for Thanksgiving so far. Um, we anticipate uh, upwards of 450, 475 for Thanksgiving. We have a lot of guests coming in, a lot of large parties. Uh, the one thing, um, if you don't have a reservation in, please do so. You can do so through the Full Count portal. And also stop down to the host stand um, and we can help you during non-dining hours because we're trying to make sure we're seeing residents coming in. Or you can also call uh, 1313. Don't expect anybody to answer. Just leave a message and they will call you back. We've been really good at um, calling everyone back and we've been getting a lot of positive comments that our response time is getting better. Um, we also want to remind you, because we do have a lot of guests coming in for Thanksgiving, that everyone reminds, your, you, you all remind your guests of the dress code. Casual dress is not um, permitted during the holidays. So we want to make sure that you are letting your guests know. We're going to put a reminder in the Wednesday memo um, as well for that. I wanted to touch base a little bit on um, the chef's table. Is there anybody in here that went to the chef's table the first one last week? Um, you know, we have some hands. We only had 12 for the first one. Um, we did our first chef's table, which was a six course uh, dinner. It lasted about two and a half hours. Uh, we have another one coming up on Thursday. It's the same menu. Um, it was very well received. Uh, Chef Jamie got to really uh, flex his culinary skills. Uh, we're gonna put some pictures up on Touchtown and uh, possibly on the Freedom Plaza um, Facebook page so we can just you know showcase um, some of the pictures of the groups that kind of came in to do that dinner. We're gonna be releasing the December menu um, the end of next week. And this menu, the price point is a little bit different. As I told you, we'll start, and this, this one that we're doing this month is at $95. Next month, it'll be at 75. It really depends on what the courses are and what they entail. 
And if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see on these dinners, please let us know. But we're giving Jamie like complete creativity on like creating these menus because this is what he does really, really well. Um, and for those of you that are interested in coming to a dinner and want to speak to residents that have gone to the dinner, um, you know, let me know. I can I can direct you to them to so they can let you know what a great time it was. Um, at the end of the night, we leave the dining room and they can stay. In, you can stay in as long as you want. Let the bottle of port and everybody enjoyed themselves. So it was a good time. Um, we're getting ready for the holiday season as well, uh, past Thanksgiving, so we'll be releasing our Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day menus. Uh, we have some really great um, entrees planned for all of you, um, and then we are just working through our finalized um, pre or preferred dining plan. Um, I have been meeting with a lot of you individually on your own dietary needs and how the menus are going to work for you. Um, I feel that it's been very receptive, the one-on-ones, and if anybody's on the fence or a little nervous about the, the program that is coming up, please feel free to email me, stop by the office, and we'll set up some time so I can go through everything with you individually. Um, and sometimes that sheds a lot better light than in these larger forums and all of these papers that we're sending you. Um, so I am available to you. Um, just, just shoot me an email. That's all I got. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Um, and we have a resident, Yolanda Stout, that would like to come up and do a plug for some resident volunteers we need. Good morning. Just a quick uh, public service announcement on two different activities that we have here at Freedom Plaza. The first one is the bingo group is in need of more bingo callers. You don't necessarily have to be a bingo player to be a caller. So if anybody's interested, please get in touch with Doris Glass. Her, name is, her information is available in the directory. Secondly, if you're interested in getting a little exercise, having some fun, on Saturdays here in the auditorium at 2 o'clock, we play chair volleyball. So if anybody's interested in doing that, just show up. Thank you. Thank you, Yolanda. Um, the last thing I will say is I'm, my plan is with um, Ron Sweet's blessing is that I will do a presentation uh, on the results of the resident satisfaction survey at the RAC meeting on December 1st. So if you're interested in seeing those results, I will talk about them there. I will also include a summary in one of the Wednesday memos, but lots of good information, um, lots of positive feedback, some constructive feedback that we will, um, we will develop an action plan to address those areas of opportunity. We also know what areas we need, or we're doing well at, we need to keep doing well. So we appreciate all the participation in that survey. So any questions for myself or anybody else that um, spoke today? You're an easy group today. We need to provide donuts every month. Well, I thank you for coming. Have a great day.